All right, take your hands to your heart. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms over your head. Now, if you're not in a narrow hallway like me, then really take your arms out to the sides and take them up. This is just what I can do. Exhale, hands to your heart. I'm trying to do this class every day in a different location. Inhale, arms over your head in a different chair so that I can experiment and maybe you can see how this can be done in a variety of different ways. And then let's cross our left leg over our right and take your right elbow down inside your left, uh, your left knee and twist, grabbing the back of your chair. Oof. Roll your shoulder blades down the back if you can. Feel the middle of your back releasing. So good. Take your back arm back up and watch it go across the ceiling. You're crossing both elbows now. Wrap your hands around each other. Inhale your arms up. Exhale them down. Yesterday when I was in this pose, this is eagle pose, I tried to stand up and I fell back over. That was a fun part. Inhale up. Leaning back into a back bend if you want to. Exhale forward. Release your hands. Take your knees apart. So anytime I put you an eagle in the chair, you can you can come up into your like chair eagle. Work your legs a little bit if you want. And then come forward in between your legs. If we were standing up, our legs would be straight, and this would be Prasarita Padatanasana. Straddle forward fold. In a chair, it's different. We're not getting into the hamstrings and the calves as much as we were if we were standing, but we're getting quite deep into the hips. It's nice. Take your hands to your knees and push yourself up. And then let's cross the right leg over the left leg and take your right elbow down inside your knee. Take your left hand behind you and grab your chair. And then take your back arm and watch it go across the ceiling, coming down with your elbows crossed. Wrap your hands around each other. Inhale up. Exhale down. This time when you inhale up, see if you find a little back bend at the top. Exhale, curving forward. Release your hands. Let's spread our legs apart wide and come down again in between them. And come on up, take your feet together, inhale your arms up over your head. Exhale your hands to your heart. Inhale arms over your head. Exhale your hands to your heart, take your hands to your knees. Let's inhale to a cow lift. You stay where you are, I'm going to turn so you can see this. Cow lift, rolling the shoulder blades down the back and pressing the belly forward like that. Exhale, cat tuck, opposite motion, round everything. I don't need to tell you how to do this. You're probably already sitting this way. Inhale, cow lift. Now because of you, just because that's how everybody sits at a computer, like this. <laughs> cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift. Chin comes out of your chest. Exhale, cat tuck. One more time, inhale, cow lift. And now let's grab our hands behind us. Rolling the shoulder blades down the back and the cow lift turns into a cobra. Cobra is sort of just a more emphatic, at least when we're sitting down, a cobra is an emphatic version of the cow lift. Inhale and lift your chin up. And let's go like this, lean, lean this way. Whoa, my back just cracked. And then come up to center and lean the other way. Good. Come back to center. And then put your hands on the edge of your chair. So I've done this for the past couple of days in these videos and it hasn't, it's been terrible because you can't see the bottoms of my feet. And I think even in this, in this one, you can't see the bottoms of my feet. But watch what I'm doing. 
so I'm I'm planting my hands on the seat I'm coming up like into a reverse tabletop putting my weight into my arms and then I'm walking forward this is Parvatanasana intense stretch to the east and if I was doing it wrong I would sort of let my body slump down like that and if I was doing it right I would come up and strengthen my core and feel like I was in a really long diagonal line here maybe let my head go back Parvatanasana and then put your butt down on the chair drag your legs back I'm still keeping them straight my legs are still straight and then I'm gonna unless you feel like your chair is gonna slide out from under you come down and find a forward bend coming down over these legs so these two poses tend to go together perfect tadasana and pachamotadasana now we're doing pachamotadasana which is the uh, intense stretch to the west forward bend the thing that we were doing a second ago was intense stretch to the east pachamotadasana Just some yoga trivia. Now, when you're here in a forward bend, um, pretty much I think any kind of forward bend, there's kind of a progression that you go through as your body starts to loosen up. And the first thing that you're gonna feel, and in fact what I still feel, even though I've been doing this for a little while, is the legs, backs of the legs. Even in a chair, you feel the hamstrings releasing and the calves releasing. Try to find that feeling. We're not worried so much about what's going on in the lower back or the middle back or the shoulders. What we want to feel stretching first is this area. Let that go. Good, and then walk your hands back. There's a chair. There's a cat on my chair. And then put your hands, again, we're gonna come up into the Parvatanasana again. Walk forward, find this pose. If you're in it, you'll see why I like it. It's hard. It's making the whole body work. It's also giving us kind of a nice heart opener, lung expander. And then watch this. Come down if you have to, but look at my hands. I'm turning my hands out to the sides. I'm grabbing the chair like that. And then I'm gonna come down, ooh. And then back up. This is like a thing from like the gym. Come down, back up, triceps. I'm not sure if you can even see me moving here, but I am moving. Come back up. Come down until you're feeling your weight coming into your triceps and then push back up. And then let's sit back again. And I thought that the Pachamatsudasana was okay, but here's one I like better. Let's take the right foot onto your left knee and lean down, open it, opening your hip, right hip. Come on into this. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Just find a place where you can feel the inside of your right hip and don't feel it in this knee. We're not trying to get anything in that knee. Just the hip. up your legs if there's a cat on your chair you might not have as much room as you would like we're lifting up our legs for the purpose of feeling our core work yeah our quads are working but really it's ooh, right here all right release it take your left foot on your right knee and come on down into that left hip. release out of that and 
then take your legs up, straight up. And I was gonna see if I could maybe, uh, yeah, see if you can, uh, I can just do it. This is core. See if you can prop yourself up, lifting up your legs. Woo! It's hard. If you can't do that, don't feel bad about it. It's pretty difficult. And speaking of difficult, let's do a chair pose. Put your feet hip distance apart. It's not that hard. Don't worry, it's not that hard. I'm just kidding. And we're gonna work on our feet a little bit. This is something I do in my standing classes a lot. This is Tadasana. We're gonna find Tadasana feet. Tadasana means mountain. So with your feet, you're gonna press the ball mounds of the big toes, that's this. Press the ball mounds of your big toes into the mat. I mean, there is no mat into the floor. And then press the ball mounds of your pinky toes into the mat. I hope my toes are in the shot. That will be bad if they're not. So with your mind, you're feeling those two places on your feet. Big toe mound, pinky toe mound, distributing your weight evenly between them. And then also with your mind, you're distributing your weight evenly between those two points in the front part of your foot and the back part of your heel. Really looking to feel if you can feel four points of even pressure on each foot. I know it's weird. In yoga, in addition to rebuilding muscles and uh, releasing muscles and realigning your spine and all those other good things, toning internal organs, one of the things that I think we do is rebuild neural pathways between the brain and various parts of your body. For example, right here, the feet. We're thinking about our feet. How many times in your day do you think about the bottoms of your feet? Maybe not that many. So, Tadasana. Seated Tadasana. Take your shoulders back and down your back. Lift up your chin. Let's take our head to this direction, whatever that direction is for you. Take your uh, ear towards your shoulder. And exhale forward. Coming up the other way. Exhale forward. Back and forth, just go back and forth. If you wanna go backwards, you can. I don't go backwards. That's a little rough on my neck. Forwards feels like the safest option. One way or another, find tension in your neck and release it. Oh, I forgot I was gonna do a chair pose with you. We'll do it in a second. Next time your head comes to one direction, set your head, uh, your hand on top of your head. And without pulling, just feel that light little bit of pressure that's helping you release that part of your neck. And then exhale forward. Same thing, other side. Exhale forward. When your head comes to center, lift it up gently. And what we're going to do <coughs> is hover above the chair like this. And where do you want your arms? I don't know. I kind of like to have my arms out straight. You can have your arms up if you want to. If you take your arms up, don't do it like this with your shoulders and bring your shoulders up to your ears. Try and relax them down. And we're distributing our body weight through those four points in both of our feet that we found. And we're working our legs and we're working our core. And if you're in a wheelchair or you have no use of your legs, try to find the way that this would feel, particularly in your core muscles a whole bunch of muscles that we're using here. It's not just legs, although it's a lot of legs. Good. And sit back down. Take your hands to your heart. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale them to your heart. Got my heart rate up there. Inhale arms over your head. Let's do our twist again. This time, take your knees all the way until they're brushing up the edge of your chair on the right and turn, grabbing both sides of your chair. This chair is not so good for this. Bo grabbing both sides of your chair and 
Maybe if you're lucky, your back will crack just like mine did. Roll your shoulders back and down your back. And untwist. Let's just do the same thing on the other side. Take your knees, brush them up against your chair on this side, and twist. Crack. Come back to center. Take your hands on your knees. Let's inhale to a cow lift. Remember this one? Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift. Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift. Take your chin up high. Exhale, cat tuck. Warming up this back because we're going to do a big back bend in a second. Inhale, cow lift if you want to. Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift. Hold your cow lift a little bit. Exhale, cat tuck. And here's how we're going to do this big back bend. Totally fun. If you're not into it, don't do it. I'm putting my legs on either side of my uh, back of my chair. I'm sitting backwards. We're going to do like, sort of like a camel, sort of like a wheel. And the first thing we're going to do is establish the thoracic part of the back bend. So take your shoulders back and down the back. We did this before in our Cobra. Grab your hands behind you. This is a back bend right here. We're doing a back bend. I'm not bending my lumbar spine, but I'm really doing a big back bend in my thoracic spine. That's the top part of the spine. So healthy, so good for you. And then if it feels okay, stay strong in your core, put your hands on your chair and tip your body backwards, just a little bit, maybe just enough so that your neck wants to stretch back. Make sure you feel safe. And then here's where it's gonna get crazy, only if you want to. See what I'm gonna do with my foot? I'm gonna put my foot and wrap it around that chair leg and then I'm wrap the other one around the other chair leg. And then holding with my core strength, I'm letting go and putting one hand and the other hand on the ground. And this is a supported wheel pose or Vidanyarasana, sort of. It's very interesting with the chair. Ooh, feels good, but if it makes you feel bad or scared or weird or like you're gonna hurt yourself, then don't do it. But if it makes you feel great, then do it. That's a general rule for yoga. Good, okay. And when you come up, take your strength into your core and grab onto your chair and push yourself back up. Woo! and let your equi equilibrium come back. Turn yourself back around. Let's inhale to a cow lift. Exhale, cow tuck. Inhale, cow lift. Chin goes up. Exhale, cat tuck. That felt good. That was a big back bend. Inhale, cow lift. Let's hold this cow lift. And let's be like, for as long as we're sitting on the computer for the whole rest of the day, this is exactly how we're gonna sit. say that to myself every day. I do not generally sit like this, however. See how much time we have. Ah, oh, we're basically done. What's one more thing I can do? Hmm. I guess let's, let's end with another forward bend. So let's ease into it this time. Move some paintings aside and take your legs apart really wide and come up to the front of your chair. Put your weight into your feet and then come forward. Let's come forward to a flat back first. Feel like your back is parallel to the floor. 
and see how that feels on your adductors and your hips. If you've got a desk, I'm guessing you do have a desk, grab onto your desk. And in fact, here's a good way to end. So if you've got your desk, scoot up close enough to your desk that you could come down and put your head on your hands like this. And then it's a chair equivalent of a wide-legged child's pose. That's a good way to end a class. Obviously, if you don't have a desk, don't pretend like you have a desk like me, and this is totally uncomfortable. If you don't have a desk, take your hands to the floor. But I, this is me pretending like I do. And inhale your arms up over your head. And exhale your hands to your heart. And check where your brain is right now. Check how you're feeling. Yoga brings us back into balance. Take your balance into your day. Namaste.